Just got a proper strike from Rue off the box. They're either really hot on it or they got it jumped. And then they turned around and ran it backward. We're getting a workout in today. Good morning. Nicholas here, out for another day of bobcat hunting. I got Gouli and Rue up on the box and believe it or not, I actually got out here uh, at a somewhat decent hour. I've been having a really hard time getting up early enough to get out here early enough. Um, and I know that's probably cost me a few cats this season, which is, it's just heartbreaking, if I'm being honest. But sometimes you just need to sleep. Anyways, I uh, got out here at about 7.30. So still not super early, but better than nine. Anyways, we're gonna get after it. All right, now that's what we like to see. A little cat turd. Cooling Roo found it. And they're sniffing their way on up the road. We'll see what happens. All right, so dogs found that cat turd on the road. And they've been kind of trailing up the road ever since then. And now they just went up this pretty steep bank here. And they're working it. They're sniffing. They're trying to find it. And Rue's throwing wood down the bank at me. All right, we'll see if they can get it get it going. Okay, so we found that cat turd. Uh, Cooling Rue kind of cold trailed for a little while. Uh, I thought it was starting to heat up, but it was it really wasn't. It, it seemed kind of old. So um, yeah, nothing really happened there. I ended up roading the puppies for a little while. Uh, Tika ended up going off on her own little adventure. She ended up about 350 yards away from me. She ended up hitting another road and then started running back towards me on the road. So she's a smart little cookie. Um, still got some work with the tone training and recall. But uh, yeah, it's, it's cool to see her wanting to get out there on her own and, and run and hunt. So... It's a little annoying when I, you know, when you want the dogs to get back to the truck already so we can get going. Um, but it's all part of the puppy process, so not a huge deal. And it's really cool to see her start to venture out there on her own. All right, just got a proper strike from Rue off the box. Heck yeah. Man, that is cool that he's doing that now. And they're working on it. Good boy, Rue. Puppies want to participate but we gotta get it rolling first. All right, so they struck it from the box, went up this hill right here, and they're both opening, and they're either really hot on it or they got it jumped. Puppies are freaking out. I'm gonna go try to head them off. Okay, so here's what's happening. So we got one jumped and Cooley and Rue were running the hell out of it. And they ran it up and over a ridge, across the road, and then they went all the way down this big ridge that I'm walking down right now. But then they hit, they hit the end of the track, stopped moving, and then they turned around and ran it backwards, back up the hill. And this is a, something I've been working on with Cooley for a long time now, because it's her worst habit that she has. Like it is the worst thing that she does. She's an amazing dog. All dogs have flaws. This happens to be Cooley's flaw. She backtracks. Some people say that it can't be fixed. Some people think that it's just one of those things that they, like if a dog does that, it's in their it's in their genes, there's no curing them. 
I don't fully agree with that. And either way, well, what am I going to do about it? I'm not just going to I'm not just going to get rid of her. She's my little baby. So I'm going to work on I've been working on her. We caught that cat 2 weeks ago because I made a critical correction at the exact right moment that got her to turn around and keep pushing the track forward. So Rue had it. Rue Rue does not have that same problem. But what happens is he hears Cooley. He hears Cooley running it, and so he he does trust her, which is kind of a downfall for him. Um, he trusts her, so then he'll follow her and see what she's doing. And it's just the word. It's just a bad combination because, like, we're never gonna catch cats if she keeps doing this. So I'm hiking down to where they turned around. And we're gonna see if we can find it, or at least get this track rolling again. Unless there is a chance, and I'm not gonna rule this out, there is a chance that um, that it ran back up its tracks. Cats are known to do that. But they lost it, they, they shut down, they basically stopped barking once they hit the road again. So I think that cat is down here. And I'm determined to find it. So that's what's happening right now. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we went down there. They picked the track up again. They ran it another 700 yards. And then they were treeing. And now they were fully treed. Of course, I wasn't there. So I don't know for sure. But they were treed. And of course, Cooley broke off the tree, started back trailing. So I applied a very liberal correction to her. She didn't fully stop moving, but it slowed her down at least. She, I just want her to know that leaving the tree like that is the worst possible thing she could do right now. It is the worst, it's the worst sin for this little hound to make. So now they're so far away, I'd never get to them, you know, in a timely manner, cutting through the woods. So I'm hiking back up this road, go into my truck, and there's a road that'll take me right to right over to where they are. So ah oh boy. We're getting a workout in today. So we I had marked the spot where I was pretty sure they were treed this last time, or for the second time, and hiked up in there with the dogs, and looked around in the trees for a while, but uh, obviously didn't see anything. While I was doing that, Cooley kind of moseyed her way down this hill and picked the track up again. So now there's a road, you can see that road I'm on, they're, they're, they're moving it. Um, they're trying to figure out where it went, and it's seeming like it went across the road down into that creek down there. So, yeah, Cooley's down there. Problem is, we're just really far behind the, the critter right now, so... I don't really know uh, how to fix that. But, I'm just going to see how this plays out. There's a lot of crows flying around. And I've heard that crows will sometimes help you locate a cat in a tree. Because they'll basically start swarming it. That does not appear to be happening right now. But, yeah. A little brain dead from that hike. Soaking wet. Can't see out of my glasses. Good times. <laughs>